we're back. Wow, been a while since I put up a video, huh? <laughs> oh, I've been busy. This would be Serenity, what, 3? This is my new home. I don't think I've posted anything here yet. I was really waiting for the 1.4 update to come out. And recording is a real pain in the butt on Linux right now because I'm not real sure why they don't have good recording software. <laughs> anyway, uh, you'll notice a few things. If, if you've watched any of my videos before, you'll notice I don't have uh, a mini map down here in the corner right now. It's because I'm running just plain vanilla 1.4.4. No, 1.3. What am I running? Let's see here. 1.4.2. <laughs> this obviously wouldn't be in there if it wasn't at least 1.4. So, I've been busy. <clears throat> One of the first things I did was uh, just walk out here where I'm at. Long ways, about 600. Mm, no, long ways from spawn, anyway. And... Just trying not to get killed out here because it's just turned daytime. If I can get through these. I want to get up here. Uh, am I going to be able to? Is anything up here? Awesome. I've been blasted I don't know how many times here. Uh, Netrocus. Yeah, he built that spot there. That's cool though. Uh, anyway, I found that there was a hole kind of in the side of that hill there. And uh, that was my where I spent my first mm, first night when I wasn't just running across the landscape here. And uh, topped over this hill, came down, and thought this looks like a nice spot. So <clears throat> I fall in a hole. <laughs> Excuse me with the coughing again. That's a seems to be a thing with me. All right, now then, I'm gonna go over my bridge here. I managed to build a bridge on the very <laughs> end of the river. But <clears throat> I built a place to uh, work here, a place to stay. Holy cow, I made it through the door without it closing in my face. This is uh, obviously just my little work area here where I stay up and uh, my set my spawn and this. I think you guys have seen some of this. I'm not sure. In any case, uh, I, as I was saying, I'm, I'm not running Optifine especially right now, so you may see a few visual glitches. Uh, <clears throat> this is my storage, primary storage. Uh, enchanting room. Uh, my anvil, which I haven't used much. I've already worn one out. <laughs> yeah, I've done a lot of repairing. Uh, let's go down here. My furnace room and my uh, cocoa bean farm yes I have a skeleton I can hear him down here there's a skeleton in my uh, mushroom farm but that's okay uh, I've dealt with a lot worse alright secondary storage just for a place to put things that just I don't have room for upstairs or extras cactus farm that's kinda loud and let's see here. Let's take care of the skeleton in here. Where is he? Come here, dude. Oh, I'm going to get shot, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. Smite four. Rush! Ha! You missed. Die! Really? How did that miss me? Wow. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. Just a real quick peek out here. This I've been playing with this. This is a that's a long clock that how basically when I, if I had a silk touch pick, this would be a smooth stone generator. Ah, there we go. Hmm, a little bit of lag today. Not too bad. Right, let's close this. I have to try and remember to move my mouse slowly because I like to have it set on high sensitivity. Okay. I'm saving the best for last year. I have a big surprise here that a lot of people haven't seen yet. There are a few people on the server who have. No. Close. Okay. We're going to go down to my farm farm 
now that I actually have, I hear slimes. There's a slime chunk right here. Uh, he's probably below me. And if he's not, I don't really care. I've gotten so many slime balls, it's not even... I have like a whole chest full of them, a whole double chest. Alright. I love the new sounds in 1.4. Alright. That, that's the wiring control for this. And uh, I'll demonstrate this here shortly. But... That's pretty simple. Actually, I, I need to figure out a way to make that work better. And this is my farm here. It used to be all wheat until 1.4 came out. So this is um, 18 rows long and uh, 8 rows deep. So, yeah, this is a long... <laughs> that's a, I used to get a, uh, almost 6... Oh, why is that one not grown? I used to get almost six stacks of uh, wheat but now I've planted as you can see half of this in carrots and the other half in potatoes and I, I generally get one poisonous potato out of out of a harvesting here alright I wanna show you guys how this works I mean it's it's pretty obvious you can see the dispensers along the wall there uh, but I wanna make sure I get the most out of it and I don't want to lose anything so let's just make sure these all grow okay here we go now then and I'm not going to replant on camera here so don't worry about that that's boring <laughs> anyway okay anyway as you can see they all just sort of wash down there they go to the center they fall here and this this chest has LWC's C magnet feature, so everything goes inside. Put that in there. Put that in there. Yep, it all went inside. Pretty cool. I love it. Oh, there's the slime out there. Uh, yeah, I usually have Optifine, and it keeps. Uh, I get rid of like void fog and stuff like that down this deep so yeah videos not gonna be as good as it normally would be um, I'm not gonna do those you 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 know you can see how that works it pushes down breaks those they fall in the water but it doesn't work as well as I'd like it to so let's go down here and use looting come here slime Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I bumped my mic there. Let's go kill these guys. Die. Ah, don't hurt me. I hear a zombie. Look at you, look at it. Oh, it's. I'm trying to waste a little time here because I need it to be nighttime. Uh, because I want to go out and find zombie villagers. I'll show you why. I guess right now I might as well. But, why can't I pick that up? There we go. Now then. Oops. Oh, I need to show chat. I hear a door. Oh, I know why I hear a door. Oh, should I be hearing that from this far down? Oh, well. <clears throat> Let's show chat. Let's see. Options. Multiplayer settings. Chat. Shown. Just for a minute. I'm going to go to what I call Z Collect. For zombie collection. Okay, options. And uh, I'm I, I had chat so that because there are some people who don't they don't like having what they're typing being seen in chat. Okay, there are weakness potions in here, and 
a switch to open the door, more weakness potions and some golden apples in there, and a button. That is because, I wish I could see, you could see where we're at, but that's okay, I will. We'll get to that. <clears throat> anyway, upstairs, huh, on the surface, way up there, as you can see, way up there, we are down on uh, level 25, Y25, and I drop zombies. I go outside, I find zombie villagers, I bring them here, and they, they literally just jump down that hole for me. And I'll show you why in a bit. But, all of these guys used to be zombie villagers. And they all have crappy trades. This guy doesn't like me anymore. He doesn't want to trade. I think I accidentally... Oh, I abused his trade. <laughs> he didn't like me. But, yeah, uh, it's good to, to see they're all... They're all hanging out outside. Yeah, it's still daytime up there. Uh, there's a shaft that goes all the way up. So brings sunlight down... As you can see, there's another village down there. <laughs> I'm not done with it yet. I'm still not done with this one either. I need to build a lot more houses. But built into the wall here, each one of these is a door. And it counts as a valid house to these uh, villagers. Uh, so that they will come in when it gets dark. Now, oh, whatever, guys. And there are, <laughs> there are a few houses here. Uh, they're not multiplying. These are all uh, zombies that I actually captured and brought down here. Why do I hear a zombie? Is he in here? Surely not. These were built before we had uh, flower pots. Anyhow, I'm going to show you this... <laughs> This fence is here so that any new villagers I get won't join these villagers because I want them to come down here. Uh, down this stairway. Because this is the other village <clears throat> that I have built. And <clears throat> I think this wall right here is two layers of netherrack thick and then there's a cave system behind that. <clears throat> I'm sorry for coughing. I've had a cold lately. But, as you can see, there's netherrack on the walls. Uh, all of this obsidian was cut by hand from below. Uh, that took a while, even with an, uh, an efficiency 4 pick. So I put soul sand and uh, nether wart and on our server, this doesn't really do anything. Uh, you can't go through it. Uh, it's just there basically for show. Oh, getting sick. Getting sick. Anyway, yeah, as you can see, there's you can't go through those. Um, they're disabled. You have to warp to the nether. Anyway, um, I was hoping I would get zombie pigmen through this, but I guess that's just not going to happen. Unless somebody's near it, maybe. But now I want to start populating this village, and I have several little apartments down here. Uh, one, what, two, three, four, five. I have five of them. And yeah, that's that's my next project is to get some of those guys up there down here. They refuse, and I do not understand why this is. But they are they absolutely refuse to come past this point right here even if they I can get them around the corner it, I it take I can take that fence out and I can push them and push them you know carefully push them and get them over here and once they get right here they immediately bolt and run around me and get back over that away they don't want to go down that for some reason I don't understand why but let's go down here and take a quick look this is the overworld village obviously got a little waterfall here and uh, it shades into blue like the sky here. And those are redstone lamps. <clears throat> I have the little apartments. I think there are seven up here. I got a couple of these guys patrolling just in case I get a zombie or something spawns in here. And a little park with a water 
a little, I guess like a well. I don't know. I think that's actually nether rack right there. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, I put a tree down here, and we come to the end. I can hear the portal down there. Uh, what, before I brought the villagers in, these guys would hang out right here in this corner. That's it. That's the only that, that was it. They wouldn't go anywhere else. So we're gonna go home now. Oh, really? I have to do this again. Multiplayer commands only hidden shown. There we go. Now then, I was waiting for night night time and. I did. Why do I do that every time? Okay, hidden. Okay, now then. We're going to go out here because there should be some zombies out here at least. And there's a creeper over there. Whoop, is there anything here? Now you, you may have to put up with <clears throat> some quick mouse movements here because this is self defense. No! Come. No! Uh, these guys have to go because I need to uh, I need to get up here and look this is my sort of little place where I go and find zombies and I have to go take care of this creeper excuse me where'd he go I know the there he is all right he's dead my good old infinity bow there um, I miss having Optifine where I can zoom in to see what kind of zombies I've got going here. Um, crack! Oh, my legs! I do that every time. Alright, let's see here. Nope, this is a regular zombie. I don't understand why they don't die quicker because this is a Smite 4 bow. They should die really quickly. It's got knockback too. Maybe that's maybe that's the thing. It's the knockback may interfere with the smite. I don't know. <clears throat> okay. Now we need to step away from this area for a minute. Just so that more more things will spawn. Is that a zombie? That is a regular zombie and that's a creeper he needs to die I might as well kill this guy too so we'll have more spawning slots available now then oh look more more zombies over here well maybe I can just go back and forth I don't think either one of these are a villager either you know, there was a while, a short while there where I was getting a lot of uh, zombie villagers here. As you, as you can see, I've gotten... Oh, no. Lag. They hit me. Come on. Come on. Stop hitting me. All right. I'm going to head over here and show you my farm real quick. I thought I was never going to find cows. Uh, We do have a, a public farm. Here, I could have gone to to get cows, but I'm lazy, and I didn't want to have to, I didn't want to have to bring them, oh, I think it's like 1,700 meters from spawn to here, so, yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to mess with that, that's really, that was annoying, that would have been a pain in the rear, so I've got my cow, my pigs, got my cows, uh, the borders recently expanded, so I found a couple of cows out that way. Uh, same old sheep. These are the sheep I used to make the roof in the, the top floor of the village down there. And chickens. <clears throat> so I have everything I want. Or I have all the animals I need. What was that? I'm doing good here. Uh, I don't go for huge builds. Mainly because I'm not that good at it. Really, guy. Thank you. They they really are willing to take damage. He jumped off from up there. 
I guess as long as it won't kill them, they're 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 willing to jump. Oh uh oh, there you go. Thank you. I need to eat. The sun's going. The, but, uh, the moon is going down. I didn't find any zombie villagers. That stinks because, I mean, I I can show you how it works, but I can't actually show you show it working. Uh, really? Oh, now he dies. Okay. No zombie villagers. Hardly any zombies tonight. I don't understand. Usually I get a lot of zombies. It's it's far too late. Let's see if we can get this guy to come back with us. Oh, uh, no. I'll show you how I get my villagers, my zombie villagers down there. Because we have to go back up this way to do that, though. Across the bridge. I hear a skeleton. I bet he's in the... Well, he could be in there under under the bridge. Doesn't matter, though. He'll despawn eventually. So, I have to lure him up here. And actually, I should probably trim this back. And, uh... They, I, I, I just kind of step backwards slowly. But, so they'll follow me this way. And we go up here. They follow me and follow me. I walk around this way and I stand right here. And if, as long as I've got them following me and they're not too close, that apparently they see these fence gates as just a solid block that they can walk on because they will walk right off that without hesitation. They just, just whoop, down they go. Land in the water. They come up here. Uh, I, I actually teleport back to here. Get their attention. They try to attack me, so they just kind of stand here and go back and forth like this. And uh, I, that button on the end right over there, I push that. This dispenses a weakness potion. And I, I give them one of these golden apples. And five minutes or so later, I have another villager. And uh, I can't get out from here, but that's okay. I can do this. Uh, multiplayer. Hey, I did it right this time. Wow. There we go. And turning this back off again. Done, done. Back to game. I'm home. What? Hmm. <clears throat> Why is that showing chat? I don't understand. There we go. I'm building a map of this area here. Like, I need the far south and southeast and southwest. Or whatever direction that is. Okay. Well, I think we're done here. I was just going to give a little update. I've pretty much retired my farm that I had over here. Because it was way too small for my needs. And, uh, oh yeah, I know I've, I've had a video here before because I told you guys how much I love melons. Hmm. Okay. See, it's been so long since I made a video that I don't remember what the last thing I did was. Anyway, um, you guys have a great day. And a great however long it is until I see you again. And, uh, we'll see you later.